どうせみんなそういうことやってんだよ。で、まあ、今日のこういう体験をす。で、クラーニケーの、ティッチャーのカープ、オーナーの、ハーフや。そうだ。She won't be there with it. But all that is all we got.
What do I say that about you? You wouldn't always say. But God, don't you think you say something like this? He didn't come call the righteous. But sinners still repent. So if you hold, you don't need a position. They already say you ain't sin sick, you don't need Dr. Jesus. Well, if you're sin sick, you need Dr. Jesus. Yes. So he can save you from your sin. Because yes. sin is a disease. Yes. It's a killer. Yes. And I want to say you that disease is Jesus. Yes. And yes. give you life. Yes. Pray. His persuasion coming not of him that calleth you. Then they come from God. When you get him, God would want to him to do. That didn't come from God. God ain't put no heaven before you. God ain't put no doubt before you. All that didn't come from didn't come from God. Who did it come from? And one person left. That's an old thief. That's an old killer. That's an old destroyer. That old murderer. That's death. Read. A little living. Living the whole lump. How much? Is that a whole lot? No, it's just a little. Yes, yes. That's all they want, just a thought. That's all he wants to do is just put a thought in there. Amen. And you start to obey in that thought. So yep. let that thought manifest in you. He's going to overtake you. Yes. Put in the thought in there against the power. They think they're going to hit the whole country. Oh, just a little less. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. They better know you be acting on sin. You be the one not happy. Everybody else is happy. You walk around unhappy. Everybody else smiling and enjoying Jesus. They've got you oppressed and feeling sad. The world is against you. That way they have you believe. He the one against you. Because the world of his own. But he wants you to believe it's against you. And now the church will be sure enough. Charlie talking about you behind the back, they're praying for you. Amen. And God do something for you. But the devil's already talking about you behind you. It sure is in prayer. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are you trying to do? Get some leaven in there. So they can lump it up. So it can cause you to lose your soul. Read. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you would be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. He said, I got a You won't give me what spirit you mind. Yeah. You won't have no car in mind. Jesus. You won't let the devil handle you. Right. But no, but if there's not the history, we got to have the mind of Christ. Yeah. We got to have a side of mind. Yeah. We can't be in bondage. When they'll get in bondage, you can handle you. When the person in bondage, they can't go where they want to go. They can't do what they want to do. Well, when you're in the Lord, but they did, you can pray when you want. Pray when you want. With a high prayer when you want. And they'll got you in bondage, you ain't gonna let you do that. If he don't want you to go, you ain't gone. Oh, he's going to put something in your way. He's going to handle you. He's going to talk to you. And keep you right there. And the word you need might be going for it that night. But you don't miss it. Because of that body. The word that could give you liberty, you miss it. Because we stay there locked in the body. Because they were hindered us. We'll let us come get the word. And we need to set us free. Great. And I, brethren, 
if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the office of the cross cease. If I preach it, why am I suffering persecution? Then the offense of the cross is what? The cease. So what Jesus done on the cross it ain't what? It doesn't cease, it's not effect. But no, it's still not effect today. It ain't by the law. It's by grace. It's by what we've done on the cross. Not what we're doing tomorrow. We keep the Saturday. By keeping ourselves holy. Every day. And what Jesus did on the cross, on time they're going to see it. When no need, no longer need to be what? And it exists. And when time will be no longer, what he did on the cross. Well, see, it's going to nobody going to be saved. If you ain't saved then, you won't be saved. Won't be no need for you to be washed in the blood because he ain't putting no on you. Ain't no seat need to have to offer you because he ain't going to forgive you. See, everything you died on the cross for, they're going to see. Because the doors of salvation are closed. They don't miss the opportunity to be saved. And you know the law can't save it. Free. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. Paul said, I wouldn't trouble you. I wish they'd be cut off. For <laughs> Paul, I wish they'd be dead. Because yeah. they were trouble you. Yeah. Trying to keep you from getting saved. Mm. Trying to hinder you from being saved. Mm. So they trouble you. Mm. I wish they'd cut off. Oh, hey, that James and John right there. Yeah. <laughs> they got in. Yeah. Oh, she was going out far from hell. Oh, wonderful, not the way. But they always going to be around. Everybody not going to get saved. They were always going to have their children in the way. Him. So we're not going to get rid of their children. They're always going to be. All the time we're rid of them, we're going to do the other We'll be rid of them. But up until then, the father around, the children gonna be around. And Paul wanted them cut off. I want them saved. Don't cut them off, save them all. Change their mind, change their heart. The thing they fight against don't be in. That makes experience. They ain't gonna tell other folks how great it is. Read. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty, only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. Have we been called well? And the freedom. We don't want to use them just for serving the devil with. Sin again. Bang Christ over the shame. We don't want to use it for that. We want to use it to glorify God and lift up Jesus. It is by the church called self to repentance. Yes, right. Is that our light shine before me and to see our good works, grow for our Father, which is in hell. Be salt unto the earth. Amen. This is what we want to use our liberty for. Amen. To live holy. And all man of conversation. Right. Read. For all the law is fulfilled in one word. All the law is filled in one word. You don't need a whole book. You don't need a whole page. You don't need a whole scripture. It's fulfilled in what? One word. You don't need a whole bunch of words. One word. Three. Even in this. Even in this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. What? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. One word, L-O-V-E. Love. Because you love your neighbor as yourself, you fulfill it everything. We feel everything we fulfill by love. That's why I say, if we don't have love, we ain't going nowhere. Everything we do, we got to do it with love. We got to do it with love. Love got to be shed upon our hearts by the Holy Ghost. We can't be doing it for show. We got to do it for love. We can't do it speaking something back. 
We gotta do what we love. If I do something love, they ain't gonna throw something to you. You gotta take it. That ain't no love. I would not do it, but I would do it. That ain't no love. You can keep it. So God ain't rewarding you for that. So we do it with love. That's when God rewards us. If we got to know God in our heart, then we should do it with love. But our heart comes into the light. If you love in your heart, you want to do it with love. Three. But if you bite and devour one another, if you do what? Bite and devour one another. Paul talked to the church. He ain't going to talk to us now. You talk to the church out in Galatia. But if you bite and devour who? One another. That ain't love. That's not of God. But we bite and devour one another. And how the body cannot stand. You bite and devour one another, love is not there. Great. Take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Take heed, you know what? Consumed one of another. But you're going to destroy each other. Find it out, you're going to destroy each other. The devil got in the midst, he's doing just what he's going to do, destroy. He's destroying you. So you're going to lose your soul. This side against that side, this side against that side. Where the peace at? Where the love at? When well, everybody loves each other, you ain't got no problem. The devil can't come in and cause nothing. Because love gonna kick him out. Read. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Well, this is what you gotta do. And all for that love of me, then you gotta do what? Walk in the spirit. And you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. But if you ain't walking in the spirit, something else gonna get in there. Amen. And flesh gonna start acting up. Amen. And it won't be no love operating in there. But we walk in the spirit. Love will be operating. Free. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. We got to realize, we still got to deal with this right here. We got the whole book, but we got to deal with this. And because of our God did Mortify it, put it to death. Amen. Don't let it lose, don't let it even start up. Yeah. Keep it in its place by being in the spirit. Because yeah. one thing about the flesh, it won't let you do what you need to do spiritually. You want to pray that flesh that, no, you need to wipe that. You need to see how that is. It won't let you do it. They're going against you. Want to keep you in body. But Jesus gave me living, so I can put you on a suggestion. And let the spirit rule. When you get at ease and line, you start letting the flesh rule and not the spirit. You said, I put I put to death two weeks ago. Uh, I had two weeks to wake up. Oh, you thought that one day had a long time. Paul said, I'm not dead. I do this every day. You got to do this every day. Because this is what you every day. And the warfare is going to go on the inside of you. Who's going to tell you what to do right? Who's going to tell you what to do wrong? Read. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. And we're led of the Spirit, the Son of God, led by the Spirit of God. If you have the Holy Ghost, you're not under the law. Yes, yes. We're not under the law, but we're not led of the God of Spirit. So we're the Son of God. We have the Spirit of God on the inside. Three. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Which are these? Then you know what they are now. Yeah. Now you know anything, guess what you operate in, what operate in you? To the Spirit of God. And 
flesh and that flesh is working. It ain't just in that being still. It's in that it's working. It's working against the spirit of God. To keep you from knowing God wants you to do. Keep you from loving right. Keep you from living right. Keep you from doing what the word of God tells you to do. Fasting and praying to keep you from doing that. It's working. But it ain't working for your good, though. It's working against you. Read, what are they? Adultery, fornication. What do I put up in what? Adultery. Why is it adultery for you? Mm-hmm. I think you're going to commit adultery against God. Mm-hmm. Anytime you go out and start sinning, you're going to commit adultery against God. Spirit is adultery. You don't want to hold out the love of God. And now you commit spiritual adultery against God. And then they say, is that national adultery? Because the lust of the eye. Man, he sure don't look handsome. She sure don't look. What are you seeing in that? With your eyes. But yeah. you're speaking of where it's coming from. Oh. I think God in your heart. Oh. If I do for that man, look on one. Lust out in the heart and commit adultery with what? Already. Because if he gets the opportunity, guess what he's going to do? But if I will, she look how fine she will. He can go to it. He gonna go out there and lay up that one. They won't say, "Oh, he's so handsome. I show that to have him." You get the opportunity, he'll go out and live with it. Cause you know, already did it in your heart. You do a lot of that my good in it, and you just waiting on the opportunity to do it. It's already in your heart to do it. Now I got to make it happen. Three. Fornication. Fornication. You know good and well. Sex is for married people. Amen. You could make fornication you sin against your own body. Right. Cause you can get AIDS. Get all kinds. Sex transmitted to the right. Commit fornication. Every man have his own wife, he will have his own husband. But when you commit fornication, you sin against your own body. A whole bunch of folks in the great in the great day are going to commit fornication. Oh, praise God, they ain't there, I tell you nothing. They didn't give you that death package. A lot of them still living because they had a strong immune system. But they don't put that weakest immune system, they are dead. You get that, you know, just a matter of time, how strong your immune system is. How soon your immune system starts getting weak, then that disease is going to start to progress. And that thing, you know, you're going to be dead. So don't fool yourself. I'm not going to be because it can't help me. Why can't you, you disobey God? He only told you not to do. He told you free fornication. Free. Uncleanness. Uncleanliness. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Adultery. Adultery. Witchcraft. 